what is up guys welcome back to another jailbreak status update video i got some urgent news in this video for you guys and it has to do with kfd i covered this in the previous video uh, it was pretty much released it's an exploit that works on various versions of ios 16 and uh, there's been quite a bit that has already evolved from this exploit so i wanted to cover it in this video and i also do want to mention that um, a version that is affected by this bug is still being signed by Apple, meaning you can restore your iPhone to that version so that you can use the cool stuff that's going to come out of this exploit. I'll get more into details in a minute. Firstly, I do want to cover the current jailbreaks. It's going to be quick and easy. Don't worry, guys. I'll speed through it. We got dopamine on iOS 15.0 up to 15.4.1. That is the same. Uh, so we got dopamine that's on older versions of iOS, which is, uh, in my opinion, getting a little bit outdated at this point. And then we, of course, have Pale Rain. Uh, that's going to be for iPhone 10 and older. So A11 chipped devices and older can jailbreak all the way up to the latest version of iOS, which would be iOS 16.6 as of the making of this video. Now, as I like to mention, uh, if you guys want to see what are the current jailbreaks, I do keep it always up to date on my website in the jailbreak section here under the jailbreak downloads. As you can see, I have the latest jailbreaks there. I have guides, I have downloads, I have everything you need. A uh, link for this will be down in the description. In fact, everything I mentioned, I'll leave a link in the description. But we're just gonna back up here. So let's get back on track. Let's get, let's get to the juicy stuff, which is KFD. Like I said, I covered this in a previous video and we have some pretty cool stuff that is spawning from this exploit. And it's something you're definitely gonna wanna play around with if you're into tweaking your iPhone. So uh, just take note on that. So KFD is a kernel file descriptor. Uh, this is an exploit that can be used for jailbreaking. Uh, it is there, there is no jailbreak created from it yet. This is going to take some time. Repeat, KFD, if a jailbreak comes from this exploit, it's going to take some time to develop. I don't know how long. It could be a very long time. I don't really know. It's hard to say. But the beauty of KFD is that it can be used to tweak your iPhone without the need of a jailbreak. This is similar to the Mac Dirty Cow exploit on iOS uh, 15 up to 16.1.2, I believe it was. Um, so it allows you to tweak your iPhone without jailbreaking it. Things like Cowabunga or changing the font. This is possible with KFD. KFD can emulate Mac dirty cow so pretty much everything that we used on mac dirty cow can be transferred and use kfd this is pretty exciting let's go ahead and hop into uh twitter x whatever it's called um i do have a a post here on x about it uh, i've been i've been posting a lot about this so if you guys haven't followed me on Twitter or X or whatever we're going to call it, uh, be sure to do so. Link will be down in the description, but I've tweeted a bunch out about this stuff. Uh, this one is pinned at the top here. This one is the information about KFD. Uh, the iOS versions that are vulnerable to this that can use it are iOS 16.0 up to 16.5, iOS 15.0 up to 15.7.6, and also 16.6 .6 beta 1. And this one is important. 16.6 .6 beta 1 is still being signed by Apple, which means you can restore your iPhone to this version, and that's going to allow you to use the cool stuff that spawns from KFD. And here's my recommendation at the bottom here. If you are on 16.5.1 or 16.6 .6 RC or final version, which is the public version, uh, or iOS 17 beta, get on 16.6 .6 beta 1 right now if this is something that you are interested that this is your only shot to do this. This is not ever going to work on 16.5.1 or 16.6 .6 or iOS 17. So get on it now, it's still being signed. And talking about that, let's back up again here. Let's hop back to the website in this post here. I talk about the KFD exploit. I covered this in the previous video. But down at the bottom here, I do have a video showing you guys how you can restore to 16.6 .6 beta 1 if you're on any of those versions that I mentioned. Uh, and here are the downloads as well for 16.6 .6 beta 1. So everything you need is in this post. But let's go back over to uh, X Twitter and let's scroll down a little bit. I'll show you some of the cool things that are being done with KFD right now. So here's a... Uh, 
a post of a lock screen. As you can see, the, the font of the lock screen have all been changed. And this is all customizable. This does not require a jailbreak. This is just simply using the KFD exploit. And it's allowing you to customize that. That's what I, that's what I meant by being able to tweak your, your iPhone without a jailbreak. It's really quite cool. We also got the KFD font overwrite. So this lets you change font that is on GitHub right now. Here is a video of uh, KFD emulating Mac Dirty Cow. So just showing that pretty much anything that Mac Dirty Cow could do, KFD can do. Um, further down here, we have a video of KFD removing folder backgrounds and also the dock background. So using this exploit to customize that. Um, as you can see, there is the folder backgrounds, they are there, and then they are gonna use the KFD exploit to pretty much remove those backgrounds with just the click of a button within the application. And this is a great video kind of demonstrating how this tweaking is going to work. Uh, you will have to sideload an application uh, in order to use these tweaks. So as you can see, there are no folder backgrounds anymore. The KFD exploit has removed them and there is no dock background as well. So that's kind of a prime example of what KFD can do. And uh, like I said, I have all the details here uh, in this post link in the description. So there's gonna be some pretty awesome stuff you can do. Like I said, you can still get on 16.6 .6 beta one, which is vulnerable to this KFD exploit. Again, repeat, get on it now while you still can. Apple will stop signing it. When they do, it's random. And when they do, you can't get on it anymore. I have put two of my devices on 16.6 .6 beta one. I put my daily 14 pro max on it. And also my legacy iPhone 10 is on 16.6 .6 beta one as well, ready to go for when this stuff is released. Now I want to jump back real quickly and just talk about the way that the tweaking is going to work. Um, without the jailbreak. So KFD, the, uh, the way this is going to work is you're going to need to sideload an application in order to do this. And I'm going to make a video dedicated to sideloading. Um, I'm not going to show anything in specific, but I'm going to mention all of the different methods in which you can sideload on the iPhone. So I'll be uploading that video after this one. So if you guys are curious about sideloading on an iPhone, check out that video. I'll try to remember to link it in the description as well. But pretty much uh, it's kind of, it's going to be like Kawabunga was, uh, you need to download and install the dot IPA. That's how it's going to operate. You can't just simply click download and then it's going to change something on your iPhone. You need, you need an application, uh, with the exploit built in that's going to specifically do certain tweaks to your iPhone. It's going to be very, very similar to Kawabunga and Mac Dirty Cow. But that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this jailbreak update video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. Uh, like I said, anything I mentioned, links are all in the description. Be sure to check it out. This has been Cosmic, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.